Hey guys, PC2746 here. Um, oh, sorry, I just screwed up my back doing work. Um, out here in the garage again, working on the rider. A uh, couple updates on our. Well, not much has been done. Actually, I just been out here for like an hour to an hour and a half. Uh, what I've been doing is. No, let me lean out. Uh, get the weather off of it. As you can see, there's now a uh, bushing here. This is the axle. When the bolt comes on to hold the tire on. Let's see if I can turn this. Ha -da -da -da. I ground in the keys. Both sides. That side's cooling, so I'm not going to touch it. But yeah, I got the bush. The, this is to keep the tire on. You got the keyway now. No keyways in there. That's the inner axle. Um, so, I got the axle keys for the tire done using just that. Just the angle grinder. Uh, hammer, pound in the key. There, that's the key stock. Right. Let's see if I can zoom. Right there. I can cut that yet. Um, yeah, those bushing end right there I had to cut because that was an inch and a half and the inch and a half was or inch and a half long ones were uh, three dollars the two no the one inch long ones were uh, 250 so it was actually cheaper to buy these that's what I did I used that as you can tell you can see the marks. Um, the reason I screwed up my back, like I said, is um, when I was cutting it, I didn't have it clamped in perfect, and the angle grinder caught it and threw it, and uh, when it did that, I jumped back a little bit, but I wasn't sitting down on anything. I was kneeling, and when I jumped back, I jumped back. I kind of dropped the angle grinder, but thankfully I turned it off right away, and it didn't break the disc or anything. Screwed it up a little bit. There was a trunk missing. But uh, after that happened, I jumped back and I kind of fucked up my back. Because when I jumped back, I landed on my tailbone and I felt something pop. So my back is killing me right now. Um, I don't have work this week, so I'm going to be trying to get in here. But um, let me show you the other bushings. Oh. Mine my empty soda can. You can go over there. These are the bushings that I bought. They are three quarter inch inner, inch outer, inch inch long. It says inch. Oh, let me double check. Oh god, that hurt. It says inch long, but I'm pretty sure these are inch and a half. Because they didn't look right like the other ones the ones that are in the wheel bearings in the back I'm gonna focus 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 there you go those same things as that oh god stupid camera sorry for the crappy video quality <laughs> but yeah these are inch and a half what I'm gonna do with these is oh, I can't even lean over I'm going to cut them the lengthwise on both sides since I can't screw the or since I can't slide them inside anymore and I had to have half inch or inch diameter parts for the brake disc and the other part or for the drive chain I'm going to use those slice them I'm going to put them on I'm going to weld them fully into place and I'm going to use the gap that's on, that's on it I'm going to pinch one side together the other side, I'm going to leave the gap, and the side with the gap, I'm going to grind it just wide enough, and that's what I'm going to, I'm going to partially use that as my keyway. Hopefully, it doesn't snap my welds off, but I'm going to have a buddy of mine help me with the welds. Um, yeah, he gave me a couple of welding books because apparently my welds look like crap, especially on that motor mount. Um, yeah, still have. This 
motor only, the five and a half Briggs, the Power Pro lawnmower motor. Everything's good on it and all that. It's just, yeah, I just don't think it has the right power. And uh, I have a couple. Oh God, my back. I have a couple of ads up on Craigslist right now for Appleton, Wisconsin, because that's where I'm located. I'm not giving you my guys my address. Sorry. Um, but everyone I'm talking to wants like $150 for a 12 horse. Briggs with no starter and you can't start it. They're like, oh yeah, it starts. I promise. I promise it starts. <sighs> I'm not willing to buy a lawnmower motor that I can't verify the starting. You know, it, I'm not paying that much for a motor I can't start test right away. Um, I told the guy 50 bucks for a 12 with no starter. Um, because he said this, it starts, it just doesn't have a starter on it and you need to go through and clean the carb. I was like, well, it doesn't work then. You know, it doesn't start. No starter, I'm not pull starting a thing. Um, and if it needs a carb job, obviously it's not working. So, I don't know, I'm gonna give it a couple more days. Um, I'm going to go over to a couple shops here in around town and I'm going to talk to them. I'm going to bring the five and a half with me, uh, see if I can get, do like a trade um, for at least a 10 horse. I want at least a 10. It's kind of what I want. I, I want something with a starter, to be honest. But um, I'm getting really tired of looking for motors. Uh, a lot of the lawnmowers I'm seeing have eight horses. A lot of them are the ride behind, or the motors in the back. <sighs> That's not what I want. Uh, they're all eight horse. <sighs> There's a 20 horse for 600 bucks used. No. <laughs> I'm trying to do this whole entire thing for I think I said 150. Uh, I'll have to go back and look, but yeah, I'm I'm trying to do this whole build for under 200 bucks. Um, and so far, I don't really have much invested. I have like five, six dollars invested in the bushings. I think the bearings cost me the bearings cost about two dollars a piece, or no, a dollar a piece. I got them on sale at BMI Go Karts. Um, same with the uh, bush bearing holders. Those were like, I think like either 50 or 25 cents a piece. I got them uh, last year on a huge BMI sale, uh, BMI go-kart sale. I'll put a link in the description if I remember. Um, tires, uh, those back tires and uh, the fronts, the front tires I got for 20 bucks. I don't know if I showed you guys those. Um, oh, let's see if I can get them. Those. Yeah, whatever the hell that word says. Oh, sorry. 15 by 6 by 6. Dry rotted. Got those and the uh, back tires because I needed the uh, hub where I didn't have a bolt pattern so um, also the back tires I <sighs> let's see if I can show you guys this guy told me that there were little to no cracks on these tires I'm trying to see which ones they are um, okay I'm gonna lean down just give me a second yeah little to no cracks my butt that crack goes darn near around the whole thing. So all those cracks, all those, and turn this one around. You got that monster crack right there. <laughs> Little no cracks in my butt. Friggin' front ones are worse. Um, front ones, I don't even think hold air. I think those are tubed as well. Um, this one's not that bad. 
Actually, it's perfect. Um, virtually no cracks. That's good. Nice thing is, I still have those. And uh, those, which are the exact, I have three sets of the exact same size. Those do not have a, do not have a keyway, and those are a bolt pattern. And these are the uh, keyway drive tires. So, yeah. And the nice and the other thing is, is the tires that I'm going to use are tubed. Um, the bolt ones, only one is tubed, and the fronts I don't uh, the front ones on this cart I'm using right now, I don't believe are tubed at all. So. So yeah, um, not too worried about it, but yeah, like I said, I'm gonna give it a few more days. Probably Monday, I'll go see if I can get a different motor. Otherwise, guys, I'm sorry, but I don't have the income anymore to uh, go buy a you know two to three hundred dollar motor. I'm gonna end up having to use the one I got, the five and a half. Um, if I do, I'm not gonna be happy. Um, there's a couple of lawnmowers on Craigslist right now for under a hundred bucks that I'm trying to get. No one's answering though. It's starting to annoy me. You go and no one leaves their number on the Craigslist ads and um, when you when you send them an email they never respond. So, But yeah, uh, I'll probably make another video come Monday which is tomorrow. Uh, my misses work so I gotta do, take care of the kid in the morning after one I'll uh, go and drive around see if I can find anything uh, if I can I'll get a higher horsepower if I can't for the time being just for winter I think I'll just throw this that motor in and honestly guys I don't know if I, I don't remember if I said it but I can't call it a racing lawnmower anymore it's probably just going to be used to putch around, you know, drive around the yard and, or drive around on the road. Um, there's no point in trying to turn it into like a drag racer because in where I'm at, there is no on-road lawnmowers. They're all off-road. So um, there's nowhere I can drive it legally. So as a drag racer, it's pretty much done. But as a lawnmower to drive around and have fun, I'm definitely still going to do it. But I still want a stronger motor because I'm 268 pounds. I ain't someone that small. And um, this thing doesn't isn't that light. So between me and the lawnmower, we're kind of heavy. So we need something that can haul us. Which that transmission originally had a 7 horse. But it also had to deal with a deck, so maybe at five horse could make it go. Um, not as fast as I'm going to want it to go, but like my friend said, you got to pick your battles. And honestly, with the holidays coming, I mean, I might not be able to work on this thing until geez, two, three months. As like I said, I got my kids' birthdays coming up and. Christmas so I don't know go through and figure out what my cost is because I still haven't seen my unemployment yet that's uh, two months behind I'm looking at another two months to wait <sighs> um, what else yeah, laid off of work like I said but I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'll let you guys know within hopefully the next week. Um, I'm going to give it a week on Craigslist if no one that lives near me, which uh, I've had a couple of lawnmower motors that come up, but I'm sorry, but I cannot drive three hours one way to pick up a lawnmower motor. I just, I'm not willing to. I mean, that's too many miles on my car and first snowfall of the year today and I couldn't get it started. It took me about two hours. So 
But all right, guys, I will uh, finish up some stuff. I'm going to throw the tires back on, see how she turns, and then uh, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye.